uh, you watch you watch uh, global affairs very closely uh, from Athens how do you view this you know uh, the the thing is India and China become a global issue any kind of a skirmish between India and China will become a global issue within hours and this particular incident has also got noticed and written about uh, you know and 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 there's been immediate responses from the US from the European Union uh, What's the strategy here? How do you view it? It's the third or fourth time that India has pushed the Chinese back. Look, I mean, I can only follow on from what's been said here, and I agree with 100%. Look, these are two the two most populous countries in the world. Any conflict between them is going to be a global issue because of the fear of escalation and the catastrophic consequences it could lead to globally, uh, not just militarily, but economically and politically. But look, you know, we are dealing with an expansionist Chinese state. We are dealing with a state, as has been said, that wants stability on its border, uh, instability on its borders and in the region. So I don't think that this is just about being a distraction. I think that this is about policy. This is about pushing to see how far you can get to see if your neighbor will react. And if they don't react, you push a bit further and you push a bit further and you push a bit further. I think this is a very, very classic strategy. And I think it's something we've seen in Europe with Russia, Ukraine. And I think it's something that we have to be very, very aware of and something that India has to be consistently guard against. Um, it's very, very dangerous. Um, and I think the Chinese know what they're doing and they're going to keep doing it and doing it and seeing what the reaction is. Not just, by the way, of India, but also around the world to see what India's allies do, to see what the international community says, to see if there is the will to push back. Because mm. there is, of course, another area near China that is very, very keen to sort of push against as well. Uh, that's important, Gaurav, because, because we saw a very quick global reaction this time. So the Chinese, you know, we, we saw the global reaction very swift, of deep concern over what was an issue in which weapons were not really used, Gaurav. So we saw a very quick reaction globally. So the world responded extremely quickly this time. Uh, absolutely. Uh Yes, absolutely, absolutely, Arnab. Uh, the gentleman from Athens, I, I don't know his name, but uh, I think that's I, I would tend to agree with him what he's saying. It makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is tip. Yes, uh, David, my apologies. So this is exactly no. what David said, and I think it makes a lot of sense because, uh, you know, that is what the Chinese do. They'll keep on pushing slowly and slowly. They'll see how far they can push you. They'll see how far, and they're gauging your reactions. They're looking for gaps. They're looking to take advantage. And this Chinese method of causing instability in areas that they think that they cannot control. Uh, generating instability to take advantage of. This is classic Sun Tzu, uh, has worked very well uh, for China for a very long time, uh, till the time they landed up at the line of actual control, Arnab. I think then it started to backfire. And uh, good that the world stepped in. Uh, one of these days is going to get out of control. Uh, and unless, unless China realizes that, you know, you don't, you don't stroll into somebody's garden without their permission. It's not done. Uh, China must realize that. Otherwise, there will be consequences because these people, the troops at the border may not be armed uh, in the sense that when they go for patrolling, they are not armed. But everybody is carrying weapons down at the company base. Everybody has weapons. One day it will get out of hand. One day China will push a little too hard and one day there'll be a response. Mm. And this will not be because the government of India has sanctioned an armed response. It will be because of a local commander. When things get out of hand, but, somebody will shoot Arnab. It happens. It happens all the time with soldiers. It happens around the world. Yeah, but, but there's, a, there, there's something to be... Uh, Victor wants to say something, yeah? And then Madhav wants to come in as well. Are you saying something, Victor? You see, Victor, I, we understand the situation of the Chinese. I want to tell you this. There's a lot of empathy for your situation. Victor, can you hear me? I can't hear you. Victor, can you hear me? Victor? Victor can't hear me. I think there's an audio issue. But I'll, but I'll continue and I'll get him back on track. Kamar Chima is there from uh, from the.